Hello, everyone. Good morning. I'm so glad you're joining me here today. Friday morning for those of you. Oh, I'm a little bit loud. Sorry about that. Friday morning for those of you that are joining me live in the U.S. Friday afternoon in Europe. And good morning. Or what? Figuring it out. Good evening to all of my Australian friends. It is a great day to focus on him and set our hearts on him no matter what time of day it is. That's the truth. I'm Josh Richter, pastor of Root of Revival Church, and then head up with my wife, all things at rootbible.com to find out more about our speaking schedule, about what God is doing in and through Root, and a whole lot more. Go to rootbible.com. All right. No, no. And I, and like and share this, especially if you are on social media, because the social media uh, devices, whatever they are called, are working against us. We're having crazy reduction in our views, and we've heard from many people that it's even hard to find it because social media does not want the word out about the glory of God and how we can walk in it every day. I'm still excited about it. It's the truth. The glory of God is just stirring in my heart. And so I want to talk today about a focus for the weekend. You're like, okay, all right, I know the focus for the weekend. It's glory of God. Let's move on. Don't turn it off yet. Just wait. I, I think you're really going to enjoy this. So check this out. We're going we're gonna to jump all the way back to Old Testament here. We're going to do one of my favorite stretches of verses that I always share. Well, I shouldn't say always, but we're going to Isaiah 55, verse 8 is where we're starting. This is God talking. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. Oh, I'm slow on my own drop. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from earth or from heaven and do not return there but water the earth making it bring forth and sprout giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth it shall not return to me empty but it shall accomplish that which i purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which i sent it do you know what comes up next this is where it gets fun. Isaiah 55, 12, For you shall go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth in singing, into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. This is awesome. This is all of the earth rejoicing before him. As what? As what was going on? Verse four, or verse 11. So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. God has a plan and he has been working it in you and through you. If you pause for a second, why is my camera way off center? Anybody else? Okay. It's just bugging me. If you look at even this last week, you're going to see how God has been working in you and through you, revealing himself to you and through you, and how he has been with you all along. It is so much fun to reflect back at how his word has accomplished exactly what God said it would. His word does not lie. It always accomplishes it. Let me put it up again. Always accomplishes that which God purposes and shall succeed in the thing for which God sent it. So what do we do? What do we do when we start to see that he has brought all things brought us through all things. That's the better way to say it. That he has been so faithful. What do we do? 
we go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Have you ever had one of those mornings where you are so overjoyed that it seems like all the world around you is rejoicing with you? Whether it's people, whether it's animals, whether it's the trees, whether it's the sky, and you're like, it's just so amazing. Why is that? Because our heart and our mind are set on the things above and we're reflecting on how God has been so faithful. Even Psalms 19.1, the heavens declare the glory of God. Oh, there it is. Glory is back. Woo the heavens declare the glory of God and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. So this weekend, Let's celebrate who God has been. He has been so good. He has been so faithful. His promises are beyond comprehension that he would even think to share the glory of God with us. But he didn't stop there. But he has put his glory and his son and his spirit within us so that we can be a conduit of all that God is and all that God has to bless the entire world around us. And as we do, he continues to expand our influence, our ability to speak into people's lives, to see him at work, to do the works of the ministry, to be who he's created us to be, to step into the fullness of his best plan. And sometimes we just got to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are so good. Look at that sunrise for those of you in this, in the watching this in the morning. Check out that sunrise and thank God for his glory. It is so beautiful. Look at the dew on the grass and the, and the animals in your yard. If you have anything like our yard, there's our yard is always full of them. Uh, wild and uh, natural or farm raised. Anyway, I'm getting enough. There's look at those and be thank God. Look at the, as you're driving to work, look at the trees and thank God. Look at the sky and thank God. Look at all of his blessings and thank God. Notice the nature that God has put all around us for our enjoyment. He's so good. He is so, so good. He's so good. And we just need to take the time to say thank you. All weekend long. That's my challenge. That's my challenge for you. All weekend long. Even if you have to set an alarm on your phone, take the time to thank God because he is so worthy. He is so good. He has been so faithful. He is so glorious. And all of creation around him is proclaiming that. A verse, I didn't put it up. It's not in the slides, but... I just feel like I should share this one also. Romans chapter 1, verse 20. For his, talking about God, for his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world and the things that have been made. All of creation exuberantly glorifies God. Let's join them in singing the praises, his praises. Let's join them in recounting his goodness. Because I don't, I'm fairly confident, like this verse says, the mountains and the hills are breaking forth in singing. The trees of the field are clapping their hands at how God has been so good and so faithful. But don't let them do it all. Take the time to do it yourself. He's so good. He's so good. So, let's do it today. Set your mind. Set your heart. Set an alarm to thank God continually throughout this day and throughout the weekend. And I'm telling you, the, the way into, you want the present, you want to, uh, and you want to, how do I say this? You want an encounter with God? You want to engage Him or have a communication, fellowship with God? Enter His courts with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. 
be thankful to him and bless his name. You're going to see fellowship with God this weekend as you just thank him for who he already has been and for the beautiful creation all around us. All right, y'all, let's go do it. Have an amazing morning.